So hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. So, Fossey's emails are quite interesting, to say the least. So glad they're coming out now, because now it's quite evident that the majority of people who were called conspiracy theorists, liars, um, censored on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere else, were actually telling the truth. And Fossey's a liar. He should be in jail. You know, what breaks my heart is the uh, psychological harm that masking and everything else has caused to so many children over the last year. <clears throat> and some of those children, sadly, have taken their own lives. So just the thought that I had here. But let's talk about the subject at hand now. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see, um, reading directly from Fraudsties, or Fraud Cheese. Look at that. Look at this. So you could pause it. You could watch the whole thing read the whole thing but basically um what they are saying here so you saw the text this is his email jp hank i don't know who jp hank is i don't really care who jp hank is um, but i want to think about the mindset behind these individuals um so let's read it from the perspective that they actually care about people's lives they care about children's lives they wanted to control the pandemic and save lives so let's read it from that perspective and then let's think about what they say about Trump. So, I heard the idea on the radio interview with Lori Garrett in the morning. Uh, how about getting your committee or one of the government's health agencies to produce a series of short YouTube videos on how to combat the coronavirus, such things as proper hand washing techniques, uh, when to wear a mask, how to ride a subway safely, etc., etc. I think this would be an excellent way to reach the public in the digital age provided provided in parentheses provided that mike pence doesn't try to turn them into campaign ads for donald trump and i strongly urge you to give the strategy serious consideration i know i would watch them i'm sure millions of other people would too sincerely j paul hank Okay, so let's think about this real quick. So if they really wanted to save lives, they really wanted those YouTube videos to get out there to the millions and masses and save lives and teach them how to hand wash properly. Could you imagine Dr. Fossey just, just rubbing his hands together all nice and neat? This is how you pump the soap. This is how you squirt it on your hands. You turn the faucet on, it's better to use a little warm water, a little hot water on there. Hot water, kind of like a fever, kills your virus. Anyways. So, if they really wanted to save lives and they wanted these YouTube videos to get out to the masses and save lives, let's just not do it if it's gonna help Trump get reelected. Like, it would be a great idea to, to help people know how to wash their hands and wear a mask and do all these things. Uh, but, but, if saving lives and helping people meant Trump was reelected, oh by golly, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do anything to save lives. Like the precedence of saving lives is underneath the precedence removal from office. Please don't do that. Oh God, let people die. Let people die. As long as Trump and Pence can't use it for their campaign ads, it's okay. We can kill people. It'll be all right. Because Trump and Pence need to be out of office. Folks, number one, I don't believe that Fossey and Hank really truly, maybe Hank did actually. Maybe he's just fooled. He's deceived. He didn't know that Fossey was lying. He didn't read the other emails. He wasn't in on it. Um, that Fossey knew that masks didn't work one bit. Maybe Hank's like, please put out some YouTube videos. People really need to know how to wash their hands and when to wear a mask, and how to rub a, ride a subway safely. Oh, too bad that masks on a subway in New York mean more people are probably murdered and killed. Yeah, Cuomo. Masks are not a good idea on the subway in New York. They don't save lives. They hurt people. But just think about that. How you doing? They don't care. So the fact that they don't care, he doesn't care, Fossey doesn't care. Just the mention, just the mention, if they truly, their spirit, their heart was in the right place, let's save us some lives. The fact that Pence and Trump could use it as a campaign ad shouldn't freaking matter. 
if their spirit, their heart was in the right place. There would be no mention of the possibility of aiding in re-election of Trump as long as we're saving lives. That should be number one. But no, provided that it doesn't, that Mike Pence doesn't try to turn them into a campaign ad for Donald Trump. So as long as the only way I'm willing to save lives and tell people the truth and information that would help them prevent an infection is as long as Donald Trump isn't provided with a platform that would help, help him get reelected. If that is provided, if that helps him get reelected, and his staff helps people stay healthy and well, well, I'm just not gonna do it. No, no, I won't. Wouldn't be prudent, wouldn't be prudent. Y'all, this is some. <laughs> Frosty needs to be in jail. <laughs>